What's up YouTube? This is my review of the Alta Escalante 3. I really liked the Alta Escalante 2.5, so I was hoping these would be just as good. I already made a comparison video, so I will drop a link in the description down below. I like having the Escalantes as a more minimalistic shoe in my running shoe rotation. With 25mm stack height, they're not officially categorized as minimalistic, but they're the least cushioned shoes that I have. Many of you guys have recommended I get the Alto Escalante Racer, which I haven't so far. To be honest, I really want them, but they're too similar to the regular Escalantes and just feel stupid spending another 100 something euros on a pair of shoes that are very similar. I run a lot, but not that much that would warrant another pair of running shoes. And all the shoes I buy myself and I make sure that I really run in them. None of my shoes go to waste. I make sure that I run in them until they don't feel good anymore. But if you don't know who I am, I'm TD Miller. I like running and I like reviewing running gear. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Life is expensive enough. So the easiest thing to do is just press that like button to help me out. Now back to the shoes. I'm usually between a size 10 and 10 and a half, US sizing that is. And this time I went for a size 10. And so far I've been really happy with that choice. The Escalantes always tend to be a little bit on the large side because of the extra space around the toe box. So that's why I took my chances of going for a 10. So if you don't know what size to get, some people like going half a size down for the Escalante. Others would just go for the regular running shoe size. They're not as stretchy as the 2.5. So it's always a little bit fidgety getting the shoes on, but I really like the lacing system. So as soon as I have my feet inside, the upper really wraps nicely around them. The tongue is also really nice. It's slightly padded, but not too much. The tongue is kind of odd in a way that it's still attached to the upper halfway. So this part is still attached to the upper and the tongue itself doesn't come loose until here. So if you need a little bit more room around here, I would really just advise to take off the laces and just start from here. That way you would have a little bit more space or a little more stretch around here. There's been some confusion about the fit. So the Escalante 3 has now been categorized as a standard fit, which is between the wider original fit and the slightly more tapered slim fit. The Escalante 2.5 was categorized as an original fit, which is wider but somebody at the marketing team just fudged that up. They've always been a standard fit. So for me, for someone who has just regular sized feet, regular wide feet, the standard fit is good. In my opinion, people with more narrow feet can also run in the Escalantes without a problem. And people with wider feet will still be able to fit in them, maybe by going a size up or tightening the laces slightly differently, or even take the insole out. I've said this before in my other videos, Alters are also designed to be used without the insole. So if you need the extra space, just take the insole out. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So you have like five millimeters more space inside. As you can see, there's still quite some stitching inside, but it's quite nicely done. So as long as there's not too much friction, I don't think you'll get any blisters. Let me know in the comments down below if you run with or without the insoles. The upper is called sock-like, which means they feel like socks, but in my opinion, they are thicker than the 2.5 and more rigid, and that makes them less breathable. It's fine for the climate that I run in. It doesn't get too hot here anyway, but on days when it does get really hot, it's not very comfortable. But on those days, I tend to wear thinner socks than anyway. The U-shaped heel cup fits nicely around my ankle. There's not much structure in there either, so my ankle has enough wiggle room when I'm running. The plushness is nice, not too much, not too little. Feels comfortable pretty much perfect. The outsole is a nice upgrade from the 2.5. I have enough traction on all the roads and all the gravel roads that I'm running on. So far there's not much wear to be seen. So I've now already run 100 kilometers in them and I overpronate excessively, but there's nothing to be seen there, which is great. But as you can see now, there are a few slits in the outsole, but it also means that small stones get stuck inside. You don't notice it while running, but now having them on the table, there are a bunch of small stones here. I find the Escalantes to be pretty comfortable and they weigh 279 grams in a size 10 US. I like using them for my easy days, but nothing longer than 20 kilometers. They're also quite nice if you want to pick up the pace and I especially like wearing them to strengthen my feet basically. But if I want to do more than 20 kilometers, I do need more cushion and I really love my Torrent 5s for that, but they are in need for a replacement. So maybe eventually get the Torrent 6, I don't know yet, but for now I'm happy with the Escalante. I like the feel of the Escalante. It's not too bouncy, but quite springy. It's pretty flexible. When I run, it makes my feet do a lot of the work, which is making them stronger. And I hope that will prevent injuries along the road. I'm really happy with this pair and I expect to run at least 500 kilometers in them. My Escalante is 2.5. They lasted me 700 kilometers until the midsole fell dead flat. So I'm expecting the same with them. So this was my review of the Alto Escalante 3. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions about them. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.